here with Jim King, a PDF platform architect and uh, one of six senior principal scientists with Adobe uh, Incorporated. And um, we're going to talk today about PDF advanced electronic signatures. W when did, in fact, PDF first make its appearance? Well, I'm getting old and my memory is uh, weak, but I, I, I believe it came out in PDF 1.3. I don't know the date, but it, we're up to PDF 1.7, so probably about 10 years ago. But it, I would, I'd have to look it up to be precise. But it's been in, digital signatures have been in PDF for quite some time. Okay. And um, what, what, what is the advantage of, of having uh, the PDF digital signatures? Well, you know, I, I find it a natural evolution. I had an interesting <laughs> experience. When PDF first came out, I decided I would do an experiment and pretend I was a customer and install it on my machine. And I did. And when I got to the very end of the installation process, it had a registration form to register the product. And it said, print this out, fill it out, and mail it to us. And I, and I thought, my goodness, this is crazy that we have this electronic thing and we're still going to be printing out stuff to mail it in. And so I immediately said, you know, a natural evolution of being able to present documents electronically is to be able to fill them out and sign them. And we've got the filling out part really, it's widely used, but the signing part is still struggling a little bit because, in my opinion, it's been in the hands of the technologists too much, and we haven't had people trying to figure out how to bury the technology and make it less visible. Mm. And, you know, we don't, users aren't concerned about how we draw Bezier curves to make a pretty heart shape and color it red, but it's very technical and very interesting and very challenging. But we bury it, and it's not necessary for the user to know about that. And we're just exposing much too much of the details of digital signatures to make it so easy. So it's been a challenge. But my campaign at Adobe and also with other people is, if you're a technologist, you've got to figure out a way to bury it. You know, hide yeah. your work. Yeah. I, the technology is necessary. And the encryption and all that stuff, it's a part of what you need to do to do this correctly. But we're just making the users have too many choices and see too many options and too many variations. Okay. Um, but we're, we're working on it, it's getting better. We, we're, we're, we're seeing that the digital signatures was attached, we saw that today. Mm -hmm. um, it's also encrypted. Mm -hmm. Are people able to change it once it's been encrypted? No. Well, I mean, you have to be careful. <laughs> Yes, they can change it all they want, but they'll be detected when they do. All right. You can't stop people from changing computer files and modify them because I can go in and just put random things inside almost any file. But what the digital signatures gives you is a way to detect that someone has done that. And it uses mm. encryption technologies to do that. Okay. What, what document standards are there around to...? Uh... Well... I think PDF is one of the only document standards, especially for what we call final form documents, ones you're finished with and you don't want to edit or change. Mm -hmm. um, and it's really the most common thing. There's a lot of representations for documents. There's HTML, but it makes web pages and not exactly documents. But if you want to package up what a traditional document electronically, PDF is probably about the the best answer there is. And, and I believe Etsy have taken on the standards role, is that, is that Well, right? Etsy is the European standards group that does cell phones, believe it or not, and communication standards, but they have had a, a subcommittee called ESI, Electronic Signature Infrastructure, that has been doing digital signature uh, standards as part of the kinds of things you need to do when you do communications. I mean, it does fit in with cell phones, believe it or not. But, and they have done that for about 10 years. Okay. Um, I see there's some buzzwords like paydies and sadies and zades. <laughs> do these, what do these mean? Well, in 1999, the European Commission wrote uh, a directive on what they call electronic signatures. 
that listed a bunch of requirements to get the member states to cooperate and to be able to sign thing in one country and have it be legal in another member state. And so Etsy formed a subcommittee about that time to sort of help bring some standards to bear on the commission's directives. And ADES, which is the last four letters of all of these things, stands for Advanced Electronic Signature. And so it's capital A, small d, I guess, that's advanced, and then ES for electronic signature. And then the, the CX and now the new P stand for CMS, which I'll come back to, XML, which is the X, mm -hmm. and P, which is PDF. CMS stands for cryptographic message syntax. See, now I told you that the technologists have gone too far. And uh, it's a cryptographic message syntax, which basically means how do you turn electronic signature into some bytes you can put in a file? And CMS is one way to do it. Zadies is an XML way to do it because there's a trend in the world that if you do anything with computer files, there must be some XML way to do it as well. And so there is Zadies. And then now we have uh, looked thoroughly at PDF and said, how can we make it as compatible as possible to Kades and Zadies? or CADES and PADES and ZADES and what have you. And so this is what PADES is, or PADES is, is uh, looking at PDF and seeing how it compares. And, and when it compares favorably, you say, fine, do it that way. And when it doesn't, make suggestions and recommendations so that PDF can do it more like they do. So there's a dual thing going on. One is to make PDF comparable to Kades and Zadis, or Kades and Zadis. But you know, the real objective is to make something that meets the uh, European Commission's directives. And PDF already did that as far as a lot of experts believed. But there was also a huge following of believing that Etsy did the right thing in writing some standards, especially directed toward the directive. And so having a PDF uh, version that aligns with that objective is, is a really a good thing and it makes a lot of people feel more comfortable in using PDF signatures in Europe as, as legal. I think that's one of the main things of actually being able to sign a PDF document which you know is secure. How, where can people find out more about this? Well, um, there is stuff on Adobe's website. If you uh, type in security, as a modifier, you know, www.adobe.com slash security, I think you'll find stuff. Or you could, you might, if you typed PADES, you might get something. Right. Uh, there's a blog, uh, an Adobe blog, uh, that's blogs.adobe.com slash security. And there's a couple articles there about PADES. The reason PADES is interesting is the Etsy finalized the standard at, in July and published it. We've been working on it for about 14 months or so. Mm. And it's publicly available now. And so there was a press release and there's a lot of interest because people have sort of been waiting to see if what Etsy would come up with since they were the people that most of the people in Europe were following for electronic signatures.